Here we can see the line of sight that we had for our auxiliary elevation. We can also see the new X1, Y1 line, which is the new ground line for the auxiliary elevation. To draw this auxiliary elevation, we project our points out from our, our object parallel to the line of sight. Then we can take our heights from our elevation, which will remain the same for the auxiliary elevation, and draw our true shape of surfaces. Now I will go on to show you how we draw this on paper. So this is our elevation and plan of the stairs. We then identify our line of sight, which is going to be perpendicular to surface S, because we want to see the true shape of surface S. We then project these lines parallel to the line of sight and create a new X1, Y1 line perpendicular to the line of sight. We then get our heights from our elevation and we can mark them off in our auxiliary elevation. We are then able to mark these heights across parallel to our X1, Y1 line in our auxiliary elevation. We are then able to find the points by cross-referencing the height and the points that we brought up through the line of sight. We can then join these points and create the auxiliary elevation. I have then taken away the points and marked in the surface S in red. This is how we would draw an auxiliary elevation.